Hi YouTube, Merry Christmas Eve. Tonight I'd like to return to the minimalist computing theme by programming my Nano Kenback 1, a very faithful tiny emulator of the very first personal computer, the Kenback 1, developed by John Blankenbacker and released in 1971. To take a date, a month, day, and year, and convert it to a day of the week. This is arguably one of the first useful programs that was developed for the Kenback one, and one of the first programs that John Blankenbacker wrote for the Kenback one to demonstrate its practical utility. Unfortunately, the original source code was lost. And so Achim Bakay, I believe, who maintains the main Kenback website, recreated the program from scratch based on the algorithm, which involves a number of different arithmetic transformations of the month, date, and year to give the day of the week. He also further modified the program so that it would work on years after 1977. There's an overflow, I think, for... for some transformation where the sum is over 127 or something like that, and, and uh, this program includes a correction for that. The program was originally developed to work on years from 1900 to 1971, and also worked up to 1977, but this modified version works not only on the test case, January 1, 1950, that's up at the top here, but also on this date, a very interesting one, December 24th, 2024. That's right, today is 12-24-24. What a day to do a video about programs to tell the day of the week based on the date. Before I get into this, I just want to say that I've tried recording this video several different times. It's been very difficult. The first time I, I tried the, the battery the battery had um, discharged, and I realized that this only lasts four hours on a charge. I really see that, you know, there's a lot of difficulties in programming the Kenback one compared with the Digiroll uh, 2U. It's a lot more challenging, but I think this is more of an authentic early 70s microcomputing experience, whereas the Digital 2U is a similar programming experience, but really enhanced for what those 60s and 70s babies would have wanted would have wanted as far as features on their computers at the time. Anyhow, so uh, with that said, I'll go ahead and uh, turn on the Nana Kenback. And I'm going to start entering the program and make sure to press clear before I go to the next line. Okay, so make sure that we're in address is address zero. So I'll click set address. And now I will enter in the first octal byte, which is 050 for the year. That's 1950. That, the year here is defined as years after 1900. So 050 or 50 is uh, 1950 because that's 50 years after 1900. Okay, so I put in 050, I'll press store, clear, and then move on to the next line. Next line in the B register, the previous one was the A register, we'll enter in the day of the month as 001 for the first. Okay, I'll press store and then clear and move on to the next line. Now in the X register, we'll put in the month where 1 is January and 12 is December. 001 and store and clear. Okay, 003 is the program counter, the start location. Uh, I just realized I had it um, zoomed in there, so I'll go ahead and uh, uh, do that. Okay, so I uh, cleared now the, for the program counter, uh, 04. I'll go ahead, press store, uh, and clear, move on to the next line. Save a copy of the year in the location TMP to use later. 0, 3, 4, store, clear, move on to the next line. 
And then the operand is that temporary location, octal 065, 065, store, clear. I can move on to the next line. Uh, right shift A two places, divide year by four. Zero, two, one. Zero, two, one, store, clear. Move on to the next line. Add in the day of the month. Add to the B register, memory is triple zero, one, zero, four. Store, clear, zero, zero, zero. Store, clear, okay. Now, one, zero, six. Add in the month key value. Add B indexed table location. Okay, I'll go ahead and press uh, store and then clear next line zero five four okay that's the table location store clear now reload the year load a memory TMP location zero two four store clear TMP zero six five Okay, now if the last two bits are zero, it's a leap year. Three, two, three. Store, clear. Move on to the next line. Uh, zero, zero, three is the operand. Store, clear. Move on to the next line. Okay, zero, four, three. Jump if not zero to the SKP position. Skip the decrement if not a leap year. Zero, four, Three. Store, clear. Next line. Zero two seven is the SKP position. Zero two seven. Store, clear. Now, or if the month is greater than two, not January, February. Okay, that would be two one three. Clear. Zero, zero, 002 store clear uh then 2 4 uh 7 jump if x is greater than 0 to skp store clear 027 is skp 027 store clear 113 one, must be leap in January, February, so subtract one. Okay, store clear, next line, zero, zero, one, store clear, next line. Add SKP, add in last two digits of the year. One, zero, four, add to B memory of what is in the memory location TMP. Store clear, zero, six, five, TMP, Store clear. Test if we overflowed. One, four, seven. Store clear. Jump if um, B is greater than zero to LOP. LOP is zero, three, five. Store clear. Okay, one, one, three. Uh, if so, subtract multiple of seven. Subtract from B constant 176. So first sub with the constant 113, store clear. Okay, 176, store. That's an interesting number, clear. Now at the LLP position, loop to keep subtracting 7 until it goes negative. Uh, Uh, let's see. You just make sure I, I'm in the right address. Might need to jump back. Okay, so display. We're in 036. Okay, so I um, need to go back. Uh, oops, clear. 03. Uh, let's go to 034. 
and say I miss, messed up there. Okay, zero, three, four, one, seven, six. Okay, so I'll go ahead and store uh, that and clear. And now one, one, three, uh, store and clear and zero three five zero three six zero zero seven store clear now uh, jump if b is greater than zero to llp one four seven store uh, clear zero three five for llp store clear Add seven to make zero positive. One, zero, three. Zero, two, three. Load a constant zero, zero, one. Now rotate A right one place, one, one, one. Now decrement until it goes negative. One, one, three. Store clear. Zero, zero, one. Okay. Uh, store clear. One, four, seven. Jump if B is greater than zero to ROT, store clear, ROT, zero, four, five, store and clear. Let me make sure we're in the right uh, memory position. Yes, we are. We are in zero, five, two. Okay, so I will uh, clear that and then set our memory address now to zero, five, two. Zero five two. Okay, set and then clear. Okay, I'll need to flip a page to the last few bytes of this. Oops, fifty seven byte uh, program. Okay, we're at zero five two. Okay, now zero five two, zero three four. Store uh, in a memory two hundred zero three four. Store clear. Two zero zero store clear. Now in the table position, a halt instruction store clear. Table actually starts one lower. Okay, so zero five five zero one store clear. Zero four store clear. Zero four store clear. Zero zero store clear. Zero zero two store clear. 005, store clear. 000, store clear. 003, store clear. 006, okay, uh, store clear. 001, store clear. These are the uh, conversions for each month. Store clear. Zero zero six store clear and store clear display. Great, so we're at the zero seven two memory position as we should be. I'll clear that and let's do a quick test run here. Let's uh, run the program. And let's see here. So we have seven different days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then a bit in case there's a date that's not valid. And indeed, January 1, 1950 was a Sunday. Good job to this program on that one. Okay, so I'll leave the rest of the memory intact. Let's uh, set our address here and load in, uh, load in what? Let's load in... December 24th, 2024, in these last few moments here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put in one, two, four. Store, clear. 
zero one two store clear uh, oh oops I messed that up okay so I have to clear this uh, set address to zero zero one two four for 2024 uh, store clear now day of the month would be 24 zero two four store clear and then uh, zero one two store clear and then zero zero four store clear uh, display our address now is four okay uh, clear set address and then start the program and yes that is correct December 24th is a Tuesday there you go a useful program on the nano Ken back one what I plan to do next is implement this program on my digital 2u I'll be converting the source code over and or taking the algorithm and implementing that in digital 2u Assembler, I'll have more videos coming up on simulators for the Digital 2U and the Kenback 1 that you can use on your PC and online. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it satisfying. I hope it wasn't too boring with me going through all those different instructions. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to enjoy, to ingest lots more great minimalist computing content. Thanks so much for tuning in. Merry Christmas Eve and Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Have a great one. Take care, everybody.